can't believe the kids today are still being brought up with this bullshit. <laughs> So the other night, Caleb comes home from school and he had heard this crazy story about a chupacabra that, like, attacked a man on the Mexican border on Wednesday night. Uh, okay. So this naked blonde walks into a bar with a two-foot salami under one arm and a poodle under the other. Bartender looks right and says, I guess you won't be needing a drink. The naked blonde says, Ah, I love that movie! You'll never get the punchline, though. Yeah. No, you don't. Maybe we should make one up. So, Robin tells me you're working on a waffle sculpture. As a matter of fact, yes. It's clogged. Like, just what totally clogged. And so I turn the water off, and I open up the pee trap, yeah, and four condoms stuck in the friggin' pipe. Oh my god. Were they still in their wrappers, or were they... But the, <laughs> the condoms and the wrappers were all shoved uh, down in there, but a few I don't really want to know where they came from, and I didn't inspect uh, to see if they were here. Oh, we should get that. I think it's going really well. They seem relaxed and friendly. I just hope they like the food this time. I literally did have a little too much syrup in it last time, but how could you tell they didn't like the food? You didn't notice Robin, like, pushing her food around the plate all night, and Robert kept going to the bathroom with his napkin. Well, maybe he has a thing about his napkin, and maybe she doesn't like her food touching. Right. And that glass of Merlot in my lap was an accident? She said it was the cat. Mmm. Wow, Catelyn, that smells wonderful. I hope it's as delicious as your last dish. I hope you enjoy it as much as the last dish. So, I'm gonna pick out another bottle of wine, but you can have me. Sure. Oh, that crap last time almost made me puke. Oh my god, you've got to be the world's pickiest eater. I mean, yeah. Made me a little queasy too, but you looked like a freak show running to the bathroom with your napkin. I was trying to be polite, okay? I didn't want to say anything. At least I didn't spill wine all over her lap. It was the cat that jumped in my lap right when I was taking a sip. I'm starving. Mmm, this looks good. It is. Uh... What, what do you call it? That is the most incredible baba ganoush you will ever have. Wow, I've always wanted to try baba ganoush. So, Gray, I was looking at this enormous poster you have. That's my favorite movie. Where'd you guys get that? It's actually Catelyn's parents gave it to us. We just got it framed a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> Holy shit, was that a makeup? It's probably just a hairball. Relax. She doesn't really get hairballs and she it's... never makes noise like that. It's okay, I'll take her in the bathroom. What does oh, she call a oh. vet? Oh, yeah, look at that. It's lodged in her throat. Pretty deep down in there. Okay, um, what's gonna happen now is a technique called the Heimlich Maneuver. I've seen it before on the TV show, and it's, you gotta just punch it right out of their gut. Okay, this calls for more immediate action. I watched the documentary on lamps last weekend, and this looks about right, yes. 3,000 volts of juice in her heart's gonna get her back to life. She's not dead. She's just unconscious. So here it goes. Hang on, Amika. It's coming, baby. Oh my god. What is that? Dude. So, 
uh, looks like everything's good here. Uh, it's been great. We've got to run. Look at the time. Uh, yeah, we it's better. Getting, it's getting late. It's tired. Ha. Good night. Thanks a lot for dinner. It was it was delicious. And it's great. Next time, our play. Next time, let's order pizza. Hey! Let's <laughs> switch directions. <laughs> <laughs>